Oh yeah, and the buffalo is practicing safety. Anyways, anyways, we have landed, or driven, or parked, whatever you want to say. We are at Sam Noble Museum. Way back, not so back in the day, I used to clean this pond. Well, pond, a little koi pond with no koi. This is old Bomb Bomb, who once stayed at the Oklahoma City Zoo, but also his last child was born eight months after his death. When you first enter this Sam Noble Museum, you're greeted by this long neck, which I don't know the real name. This fascinating little exhibit of things. I'm hearing sounds already. That guy. I wish y'all could see how jumpy I get. I was filming this other goat, turned off my camera, seen this dude standing right at me and jumped. Got some fish in jars over here. I was just reading a sign that said scientists collect populations of fish over time so they can measure like the population growth and different evolutions of the animal. I thought that was kind of interesting. Looks like we are going into the Hall of Ancient Life. Looks very interesting. I think this little window would be a cool little chill room. Maybe I had like a scuba diver or like a Jaws attack, but this would be cool. Okay, it's asking me what these are. I have no idea on this first one. Oh, okay, okay. I can see now. I can see now. I'm guessing this guy can aluminum can, not just any can. Got a little display of some fossils. I think this is an interesting fossil. I think it's a knife. Oh my goodness! Imagine swimming and this guy rolls up on you. No way. This little swarm of kabutops. A little jellyfish display it looks like. Okay, I definitely have a problem with this one. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm on dry land, so his chances of getting me are not very good, but shoo. It looks like a Power Ranger emblem. But I know he's a killer. Also like this little scene, just sitting up, you go from the water all the way to the lizard. The crocodile lizard. This little, little huge cockroach is moving in there. Thank God not out here. I don't got too much to worry about though. I think that guy is going to get him. If this lizard had a human name, it would be Keith. His would be Al, short for something, like Albert, I don't know. Back to this dude, he looks like a freaking watermelon. A big old watermelon. A little bitty head and a big old body. Oh, interesting fact about dinos like this is they may have positioned their wings right there or their little fin or whatever to the sun to pick up like heat. It may have been to stay warm. Huh. This is also the same because the oxygen levels are so high. We had giant dragonflies. This thing is saying up to two feet long. That is not what I want to hear. It's showing you the position of Oklahoma during each one of these time periods too. Look how close we're to the equator. Or how far we're getting. Look at that snout. Found in Oklahoma. Jurassic era. That snout's a joke now. My goodness, Betty White, watch out. Okay, right behind some dino butt. These things are freaking massive. I would be terrified to be driving down I-35 and see, oh, Brano nuts over here just trying to cross the highway like a deer. 
Here's a foot bone. Well, some parts of it are the foot bone. Got a bird fossil right here. And I'm not sure if this one's real or not, but it could be a copy of the real deal. That's cool though. Once again, don't know if it's real, but it is behind a case, so which makes me think it's real. My mind went there, but I think it takes massive dumps. Now off to what was on the land, and now what is under your feet when you're swimming. Oh yeah, fun for everyone. Well, we're off to this scene. What I'm getting from this scene is pretty much when you these guys come, hide your kids. Because they're going to eat them. Then to Big Daddy right here. The Triceratops. Billy's soul animal. Spirit. So all this on top of his head wasn't only for hoorah hoorah let's get it on. Well it was for both. It wasn't just for, for fighting hoorah hoorah. It was also for the uh huh uh huh I'm lucky hoorah. This is a flightless bird known as a diatrema also known as a kevin this war machine right here also with the fins i wonder if those are the heat things i was talking about earlier but yeah this war looking machine vegetarian what the heck he looks like he could be a cyclops though a cyclops war machine okay you got us a big old mammoth i can dig all right, best chill room scene right here. That is freaking cool. All right, so what I get from this is this dude's a bear, saber tooth tiger, and they're both fighting over him, which he doesn't even matter because he ain't doing nothing. So I got the camera rolling. Oh, yeah, we do. Let me see you. I don't get to see you. What? Next show later. Cool looking view of that stuff though. Little top view of these guys. I will go back down there in a minute. Alright, now we in your face. Got us a little raccoon in a log here. They even put bagworms in the trees. I love this nature area. I think I would definitely, in my children, rather have like this nature scenery. See underground, there's a little mouse and their little babies. And skunks eat yellow jackets. Let's see what's in here. Probably yellow jackets. Oh yeah, yellow jackets. Well, would you look who I didn't get to film? A flapper himself or herself. No judge. See, straight up, I want to know what's up there. I see more and stuff up there. I just want to know if they got decorated and I just can't see it. That's a rattlesnake. Oh. Okay. Got Big Daddy Buff. Maybe Big Daddy's laying down, that's Big Mama. Just this little part of the end of the buffalo scene. Buffalo butt, buffalo poop. There's some deep composure of poop with the butterflies that you see moving. I just now saw that. And this bird's about to have a filled day with that. Just know we are not safe, people. If bugs of this size are under our earth, we are not safe. No excuse not to wear a mask. This coyote's even got it going on. Go ahead and go inside this cave part. Found a little surprise in the cave. They even got some kind of like cave formations in here. It's kind of a cool little touch. A little example of what might be in some spring pools. Just a bunch of reptiles. I love this rock scenery as well. And I like how they have like the animals and all the uh, vegetation and scenery just to put you in that spot. Yeah, this bird over here flopping. Trying to get these snakes. I said flopping, I may have flying. He might be flopping. See, I'm not too sure if honestly all these at the same time would be here. Because you got like all these little birds, the vulture, this dude. These beaky people. All at the same time, I just don't know. We are now entering the Hall of People of Oklahoma. Another one of my favorite parts of this I know. These right here are called leg rattles and they would be attached to your legs obviously. So when you sing and dance it adds a little instrument to it. Very cool. 
like how they have the Angry Birds, the Hello Kitty, the Heat, the Broncos. What? Now these I have seen be used before. I think it was at like a Cherokee tribe village um, in Oklahoma somewhere. Uh, I was really young, but I remember them demonstrating the game, like the stickball game. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but yes, I've seen that before. Live in action. This skateboard is so dope. On top of the artist's name being Micah Werewolf Micah. This right here would be a mock example of a Red River Basin two post house. Cool. I feel like you'd be itching pretty bad after days of gathering all your roof, your roof grass. Got us an unnecessarily low exit. And also got us a canoe. How do you use an ad? I'm guessing that's what this is. We know canoe. This is showing the process of cutting down the tree and making the canoe. Currently, what this gentleman is doing. Hard work. Check out some of their pipes. Some other double headed arrowheads, I'm guessing axes. Some early hunter gatherer arrowheads right here. More skinny and more pokey pokey. More of the same. Looks like this lady is hard at work. Probably making food, making weapons, just staying busy. This guy will be getting ready to hunt the buffalo. And I just learned that the buffalo that we see now are not the same as the ones in the past. The ones in the past were way bigger. They are extinct now. This would be what I was saying. This is bison antiquities, I think. And this is bison as we know it, bison. And it shows the size difference. These would be some mammoth bones over here. Another mammoth bone. This one's a tusk. Sheesh. If you see that little spear that dude had. He looks confident. Look at these little hands, little feet. Big hands. Alright, guy. I'm going down now. This would be what I saw from there. Alright, let's just focus on this real quick. Looks like we got a brave pup right here. It's the crazy thing about this, this dude is probably just walking around minding his own business. Just being all big and whatnot. And you brought all this to him. You brought this all to him and the dog. Poor dog. This is why I need somebody with me. Perfect photo op. This guy doing that thing? And you laying under that. I can't do it myself. Before that was salvaged in Syria, now Turkey. Very cool. This is supposed to be a comic mask. There's nothing funny about the evil Santa Claus. There's all this writing on these things. On this guy. Okay, this is a dinosaur section. Looks like I'm gonna get to walk past statues. But as long as a kid like, I don't really have a problem with it. Alright, facts time about the old Transverse Rex. Its jaw could have been up to 4 feet long with 50 to 60 gigantic teeth. Jesus. This guy right here. It's cast out of one complete stone. Or I guess carved out of one complete stone. And it's from Indonesia. I just want to thank Sam Noble. I had a great time. I really enjoyed myself. Got to learn some new things.